All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about 15 flexible side jobs to make money on a tight budget. All right, so these are gonna be side jobs that are flexible, so you can pretty much do them whenever you have some free time, and you can do them if you have a tight budget and you can't invest in buying something in order to be able to make money. Because a lot of the time when it comes to these make wow. money online videos, you have to have money in order to make money. So if you're in that situation, this video is gonna be great for you. Make sure you gently tap that like button if you enjoy this type of content. And of course, I'll make more of it in the future because you guys are giving me good feedback on it. And number one on the list is going to be a line sitter. Now, what exactly is a line sitter? This is somebody who has the exceptional ability to stand in line. Yes, that's right. There are people out there that are tired of life's cue and they need somebody like you who has mastered the art of standing in line. And believe it or not, people are paying up to $1,500 to have someone else take their place in line. For instance, one person who was working on TaskRabbit actually brought home $1,500 for waiting in line over 100 hours for the iPhone 5. Other people get paid to wait in line for clients to get into the trendiest restaurants or bars. And another example of this is there is a growing amount of people in the line sitting industry, which is this is actually an industry now, which is kind of hilarious that basically wait in Washington DC for Supreme Court arguments and congressional hearing lines. And then there was a guy who actually started doing this as a side hustle and he started a company that does this full time. So he basically earned about $325 after 19 hours of waiting and the venture was so profitable that he put a name to it and started Sold Incorporated in December of 2012. And Sold Incorporated charges $25 for the first hour and $10 for each additional half hour. And there's a minimum of a two hour wait time meaning the cheapest that anyone is going to pay is $45. And he says in one week, a single line sitter can earn up to $1,000. And that's not the only story. There's professional line sitters that make up to $35 an hour, and this is their busiest time of year, apparently. There's this guy who made $14,000 in one day by standing in line for strangers who didn't want to wait in line themselves. And he basically started finding clients for this by posting Craigslist ads. So it's pretty easy to find clients for it, obviously. And he's averaging about $2,000 dollars a week in line sitting revenue. Okay, so I think I've made my point here. You can obviously make money from this. The reason it's really good for this video is because if you don't have anything else to do on your weekends, you might as well stand in line for 10 hours. And if you have good internet on your cell phone, you can even bring your laptop along and just do work while you're standing in line and getting paid for it. And even ZipRecruiter has this as an actual career. So professional line standers make about $19 an hour. So realistically, is this something that you want to do for the rest of your life? Probably not. But if you're gonna be getting work done anyways, you might as well just bring your laptop with you have some good internet from your phone and get paid to stand or sit in line. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Now guys, I have this channel and I've earned a full-time income and you can earn a full-time income on YouTube as well. And on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going to be hosting a live training and I'll be revealing the three biggest secrets on how to grow and make money from YouTube. And all of it takes less than one hour a day of work. And I'll take you through these step-by-step -step strategies as well as exactly how I was able to earn thousands of dollars just a few months after taking YouTube seriously and starting it. And there are limited seats, so make sure to sign up now by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. And by the way, if you see this at a future date, you can click that same link to see when the next live stream will be. All right, so second on the list is going to be pressure washing. And this is actually an amazing way of making extra money on the side because there's so many different things out there that need to be pressure washed. And basically what this involves is using a pressure washer in order to basically use use high pressure water to clean surfaces. Okay, so it makes it the perfect gig for anyone looking to wash away dirt and make some quick cash. And the best part is there's no PhD in dirt removal required. And pressure washers can be used to clean sidewalks, outside decks, the sides of houses, gutters, roofs, etc. There's so many different things that pressure washers can be used to clean. And an interesting fact here is the pressure washing market in the United States is actually a billion dollar market. And it's growing about 5.7% every single single year. And if you don't think you can make money from this, guys, here's this guy who basically makes $3,000 a month from his easy side hustle. He paid about $300 in equipment just to start his business up. And by the way, you can also just rent this equipment for even cheaper than that. And he charges between $200 to $400 per customer, depending on what they want cleaned, and says he can earn $3,000 to $4,000 a month working part time. Now, according to Home Advisor, the average price for a pressure washing job is $300. And it usually doesn't take very long. A lot of the 
time, an entire pressure washing job will take less than an hour. And pressure washers make about $38,000 to $55,000 a year. And keep in mind, almost all of them are doing this part time. So yeah, this one is really good. It is a physical business, so you have to go out there and actually do work. It doesn't require that much strength or anything like that. I mean, you just have to be able to operate a pressure washer and the machine basically does all the work for you. You do have to be out in the hot sun, depending on where you live, if it's really hot. But overall, if you're not afraid of getting your hands a little bit dirty and then cleaning them off afterwards, this is an amazing side hustle. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, guys, if you haven't liked this video yet, what are you doing? Okay, if you want me to make more videos like this in the future, well, let me know by liking the video. That's the only way I know. Next is going to be a furniture assembler. And if you're somebody who likes doing puzzles, this could be a perfect side job for you. Because basically what you're gonna be doing is putting the puzzle pieces together and assembling a piece of furniture. So there are a lot of busy people out there and they're making really good money and they don't have time to assemble their own furniture. And so what they'll do is they'll hire other people to assemble it for them after they buy stuff from a company like Ikea. And a lot of the time, if you're not experienced with assembling furniture, it might take you three to five hours to do it. But once you get really good at it, it's probably only going to take you one or two hours. And here's a guy who was using the app TaskRabbit, and he did about 18 to 20 hours of work, and he made around $1,500. And that's around $80 an hour that he was getting paid to do this. Here's another guy who posted, and he charges about $45 to $50 an hour, and he hasn't had a single customer complain. And according to Glassdoor, furniture assemblers make about thirty-seven dollars to $49,000 a year. And keep in mind, the vast majority of them are doing it part time. So this is another one where it's really easy to find work. You can do it on TaskRabbit. You can post on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And there are tons of people out there that would rather pay you for a few hours than you know, spend five hours doing it themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10 as well. Next is gonna be a little bit of a funny one, but it also can be viable, and that is an online life coach. And life coaching is all about empowering and guiding people to achieve their personal and professional goals. And these coaches work with individuals or groups, and they're often operating independently through coaching platforms. And this is kind of like being a GPS to help somebody on their life journey. Now, the thing, about life coaching people is you have to have actually accomplished something. Let's say that you have gone through college and you did really well in college, you could coach people on how to study in college, for instance. Let's say you've landed a really good job as an accountant. You could coach other accountants how they can land that job and be good at it as well. Or you could just be a person whose life is an absolute dumpster fire, but you still give advice online. And honestly, that works out a lot of the time too. I'm halfway kidding there, halfway. But yeah, there are life coaches out there that are making tens of millions of dollars a year. Aaron Dowdy, for instance, started a life coaching business where he teaches people all about, you know, how they can be successful in life. And it kind of is a little bit spirituality related. And he makes a ton of money from it. And he started it while he had a full time job. And he basically just started uploading videos all the time on YouTube. And within a few months, he was able to quit his nine to five job and go full time. And if you look up life coaches on Glassdoor, generally speaking, they make about 54 to $92,000 a year. So life coaching is kind of broad. There's a lot of different things that you could life coach on. And there is a lot of mumbo jumbo stuff out there, if I'm being honest with you, but different strokes for different folks, different people react to different types of life coaching. Well, some people like coaches that are very blunt. I'm very blunt myself when I'm coaching people on how to grow and make money from their YouTube channel, for instance. Other people like coaches that are a little more, you know, spiritual and talking about mindset and mentality and spirituality and the law of attraction and all that kind of thing. And honestly, hey, if it works for you, you know, I'm not going to judge it. So yeah, I do think online coaching is amazing. I think it's a great opportunity for you to teach other people how to do the thing that you do. So I mean, again, just imagine, let's say you're watching this and you work a sales job. You're you're in tech sales, for instance. I've helped a bunch of people get into tech sales. How much faster could you have gotten into that career and gotten really good at it if you had a time machine and you could go train your past self? Think about that. Think about how valuable that would have been for you. 
Think about how much faster you would have made progress. Think about how much faster you would have gotten a job and started making money and then gotten raises. It probably would have made hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of difference. And so if you can do that for other people, train them on how to do the thing that you already did, that is incredibly valuable to a bunch of people out there. And you can charge thousands of dollars for that. So yeah, life coaching, really good opportunity. I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I did start this YouTube channel, which makes six figures a month, and I only have to spend four hours a week in order to maintain it. So this is basically as close to passive income as you can possibly get. Now, this isn't something that you can do in a weekend or do you know right away. It does take several months to grow something like this, but I do coach a few people every month on how they can start their own YouTube channels and also monetize them. And we help people get to 10 to $30,000 a month within three to six months of starting YouTube. Now, we are very picky about who we accept into the coaching program. We have a small program right now and we only coach a few people per month. But if you think that you're a good fit for this, if you really want to take YouTube seriously, uh, you can go ahead and apply in the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. My team or I will have a strategy session with you, see if you have good ideas, see if we think we can get you results. So yeah, definitely check it out. It'll be the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a Facebook ads specialist. If you didn't know, there are a ton of ads on Facebook, right? And a lot of these ads are a little bit annoying. And they're also making Mark Zuckerberg extremely rich. But with that being said, you can get your piece of the pie as well by learning how to make these ads less annoying and more effective. And a Facebook ad specialist basically creates and manages advertising campaigns that go out on Facebook. And they basically help businesses to reach their target audience online. And Facebook is actually an excellent place to advertise for almost every single industry out there. And it's actually very common to get paid minimum $1,000 a month in order to manage different small businesses Facebook ads. And here's a story from Alexis Schroeder, who basically just tried this as a side hustle. This was from last year. And she started making $2,000 a month helping small businesses grow. Here's another story from this guy named Millennial Money Man. He has a website. And he talked about how he started making $200,000 per year within a few years of starting his Facebook ads agency. So it basically started off as just a little side hustle and then he was able to turn it into a very lucrative full-time thing within a few years. And again, like I said, the industry standard is to charge minimum $1,000 to $2,000 a month to manage a company's Facebook ads. And if you wanna get hired full-time by a company, they typically pay about $62,000 a year. And according to Glassdoor, they get paid about 56 to $91,000 a year. And it's honestly just an incredibly valuable skill to know anyways, whether you want to be an employee, you want it as a side hustle, or you wanna be a freelancer, or you wanna make it into a full-time business, learning the skill is going to be incredibly valuable. Whether or not you do this exact business, almost all businesses need what's known as traffic. And Facebook ads is a very easy way to get traffic, right? Getting actual eyeballs on your product actual people who could potentially buy your product knowing about and seeing your product. So yeah, this is another really good one. And honestly, this falls under the umbrella of digital marketing in general. And digital marketing is one of the most valuable skills you can possibly learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I've helped a bunch of people get into digital marketing. I've even done interviews on this channel. So for example, Ivy was able to go from a server to a digital marketer making over 65K per year right off the bat. And I did an interview with her. You could check it out if you'd like. It's around 50 to 65,000 a year. But if you're interested in how she was able to do that, she actually took a friend of mine, Seth's program. And Seth is basically the greatest of all time, the goat of getting people entry level digital marketing jobs. So getting people from zero knowledge to actually having an entry level job in digital marketing in as short a time span as possible. And he does actually have a free training, which you can check out. I'll put the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And it'll teach you everything that you need to know about digital marketing, the different types of careers in it, and whether or not it's a good fit for you. So definitely don't miss out on that. Uh, really good opportunity. 
Uh, this guy literally has like thousands of people that he's helped get digital marketing jobs. So yeah, go ahead and check it out with the link down in the description below. Next is going to be a sports referee. Now, this is one that I have personal experience with because one of my good friends and a roommate during college actually made a ton of money as a sports referee. And he did this all throughout college. And he would basically be a referee in hockey because he was a hockey player in high school. He'd been playing hockey all throughout his life and people would pay him to referee amateur games. So if you have experience with a sport and you wanna get paid to get yelled at, this could be a great opportunity for you as long as you have thick skin. Now here's a guy who is basically able to make it big as a referee and he actually receives $1,500 game checks. So that means he gets paid $1,500 per game, but he started off as just a very simple referee where he got paid about $30 a game and he'd do about four to six games per week. Here's another guy who talks about how he would ref tournaments on the weekends and he'd usually make between $400 and $900 per weekend. And according to Glassdoor, people who do this full-time as sports referees make about $42 to $70,000 a year. Now, as you can imagine, most of these games typically do happen on weekends and you typically have a lot of time off on weekends as well. So this can be really good for you if you basically are doing nothing with your weekend and you want to go get some exercise and watch your favorite sport and have a better than front row seat for it. But with that being said, this one does have a cap on how much you can make. It's probably pretty fun for a lot of people out there, but you're not going to be making a crazy amount of money. So I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a car test driver. Yes, you can actually get paid to test cars, right? So if you're a car guy, if you're a car person, you love cars, this could be great for you. So a car test driver assesses vehicle performance. They focus on speed, safety, and mechanics. And they typically are gonna be working with automotive companies providing essential feedback on new models and prototypes. And by the way, you don't need to be a Formula One driver to do this. In fact, in many cases, they want to hire normal people who don't have a lot of automotive knowledge because that's the main people that are gonna be buying the car, let's be honest. And when you get hired full-time as a vehicle test driver, you can make fifty-three dollars to $83,000 a year. But you don't have to work full-time, and there are a lot of opportunities to do part-time gigs for this. And a lot of the time, these companies will actually post these opportunities. This is one where you can make pretty good money. Um, it's not one where you're probably going to find steady work unless you actually want to do it full-time as your career. And so for that reason, I'll give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're enjoying these videos, if this is refreshing to you to watch a video about side jobs that actually has good side jobs, then go ahead and share this with a friend who needs to see it. The reason I started this channel and the reason I started covering these subjects is because most of the people out there give really bad advice. And these are actual side jobs that you can actually make money with and real people, like tons of real people out in the world are making money with these. So definitely share this with a friend or a family member or someone who's broke that you know who needs to see this. Next is going to be a lifeguard. Now this one is pretty obvious, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I think everybody knows what a lifeguard is. It's basically the person who sits up on the high chair at a pool and makes sure that no one drowns or you know gets in a fight with somebody else. And an interesting fact here is over a thousand people a year drown to death on the beach in California alone. But the vast majority, over 80% of those drownings on the beach were from people People who didn't have lifeguards around. So when a lifeguard's around, it's much safer to do things like this. And this is a pretty easy job. You literally just sit there and you watch people and you make sure that no one is drowning once in a very long while, probably like maybe once a month at most, you might have to go and rescue somebody. And according to Glassdoor, lifeguards make about 37 to $57,000 a year. Now, as you can imagine, most people are gonna be at the beach or at a pool on the weekends. And this is typically gonna be time when you have time to go and do your side job. So that's why it made it on this list. Now, with that being said, this one is pretty common. A lot of people do it. It's also relatively seasonal, so you can only do it certain parts of the season. In, and it does have a pretty low income potential. I mean, you're not going to make more than maybe 20 or $25 an hour at most. So for all those reasons, I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a tour guide. Now, this one is especially good if you live in a city that a lot of people like to visit, right? So if you live in a tourist city or a tourist trap city where lots of people are visiting all the time, there's going to be a ton of opportunities out there for you as a tour guide. And there are so many different examples of people online that have made money doing this. Just to give a few, a craft beer tour guide in Denver, Colorado uh, makes about $58 an hour. Here's a person who talked about how they used to work uh, for a company called Bike the Big Apple that did bicycle tours, and they made more from this company 
per hour than they did at their bar job. And bar jobs can actually pay pretty well. So for half day tours, you'll probably make about $150. And for full day tours, you'll make around $300. And tour guides make about $43 to $68,000 a year. So there's a lot of different ways you could do this. Uh, a really good way of making your own tour, if you wanted to make your own tour, uh, would be to use Airbnb. So Airbnb has this feature called Airbnb Experiences. And you can basically put up your own gigs of people that are visiting your area. And you can basically tell them what you are going to do with them, like take them around to different historical landmarks, maybe take them around to eat different types of food, etc. So let's say you lived in New York, and you live in a place that has a lot of really good pizza, because New York has some of the best pizza in the world, you could start a tour where you go around and you basically show people some of the best pizza shops in New York. Now, if you don't want to start your own thing, there's tons of different tour guide companies out there, and they're almost constantly hiring people part time. So you can definitely just type in uh, tour guide companies in my area and look for different opportunities. So yeah, this can be a really good one, especially if you live in certain areas. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a resume writer. And man, this is one of the best opportunities out there. This is seriously, it's like so easy to make money if you simply are already in a career. Like that's basically all you have to have. You, you've landed a job, congratulations, you can be a resume writer. So let's just say hypothetically, you're watching this and you are a nurse. Okay, you've landed a job as a nurse, wouldn't it have been much easier if you had somebody who was already a nurse who helped you write your resume? The answer is probably yes, right? And there's tons of people out there that are searching for this type of thing. Because a nurse that's already landed a job is going to be able to help somebody else who's also a nurse way better than kind of a generalist resume writing company because you know exactly what your employers and other nurses that are going to be looking at the application are looking for. So being a resume writer for your specific niche, whatever your specific career is, can be incredibly lucrative. And not only can you do this as a side hustle, but there's been people who have turned this exact side hustle into multi-million dollar businesses. And by the way, a fun fact here is Leonardo da Vinci was actually credited in the spring of 1452 as writing the world's first resume. So this was over 530 years ago, and he basically created the world's first resume. So he basically wanted to find work in the city of Milan. And so he kind of wrote out a piece of paper that explained his skills in logical format. He sent that piece of paper out to a bunch of different business owners. And what do you know, he got hired. Very smart guy. And if you don't think you can make millions of dollars from this, well, there was a 35 year old teacher who brought in $2 million from his resume writing side hustle. And he literally just created a platform account on Fiverr and he started offering resume and cover letter writing services for about $55. He started making money as a side hustle and two years later, it got so big that he decided to turn it into a full-time venture. And now he's made millions of dollars from his resume writing side hustle. And you can charge more if you specialize. And that's what I always tell people to do, make sure you specialize. Think about it from the customer's perspective. If they're looking at a general resume writer and then they find somebody else who writes resumes specifically for their career, they're going to choose that person every time and they're probably going to pay them like two to three times more. So it just makes sense to specialize. Try to specialize in certain careers that pay more or, you know, just to make it easy on yourself, specialize in your career. And resume writers make about fifty-two dollars to $87,000 a year. So yeah, this one is really good. I've done this myself. I know friends that started off with like a resume writing business and then they actually expanded to a full career coaching business. Uh, this one is incredible. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're one of those people who lurks on my channel, you know, you watch the channel, but you never subscribe like 80% of you do according to my analytics, maybe you should finally consider subscribing to the channel. Just a suggestion. Next is going to be a personal fitness trainer. Now, this is a pretty common uh, side hustle slash business that people start. And because of the fact that it's so common, there's a lot of competition out there. And basically what you're doing is you're training somebody on how they can get fit. And the truth is, it's very difficult to just go to the gym by yourself and get fit because it's, a, it's just a very difficult process pushing yourself. You can also injure yourself. That actually happened to me. I injured my shoulder. And it really just does help if you have somebody who's experienced with this kind of thing that can help you out. And not only that, there's a social aspect to it and an accountability aspect to it where people who work with uh, personal fitness trainers are something like three to five times more likely to reach their goals. But what you want to make sure to do here, like many of the other side hustles on this list, is you want to make sure to specialize, okay? Specialize in personal training for 
dads that make a lot of money or specialize in personal training for moms who just had a baby or something along those lines. Maybe specialize in a particular type of personal training. Maybe you specialize in weightlifting or maybe you specialize in calisthenics, right? It's very important that you specialize in a particular way of getting in shape. And that's what's gonna make you stand out and that's what's gonna make people go with you instead of all the other personal trainers out there. And here's a story about a lady who started personal training and at first she was doing it as a way to save money uh, because basically she would go and train people in classes and that would pay for the gym expenses and she'd also get a workout on her own as well. And she was getting paid about $75 per 45 minute class. So that's not bad when you consider how much money she's making per hour. Here's another story of a guy who is making about $60,000 a year as a personal trainer. And it really didn't take him long to get there. And yeah, I don't think I need to show too many examples of this one because it's just such a common side hustle. Like everybody knows you can make money with this. I mean, Glassdoor even says you make about 55 to $100,000 a year. And yeah, people are always gonna need to get into shape. People are always gonna be busy. They're always gonna want somebody who can motivate them and keep them accountable. So this is a great side hustle. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be grocery delivery. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. For instance, there's different apps like Instacart where you can do this. And during the pandemic, a lot of people started getting their groceries delivered for you know safety issues or because they couldn't leave their house. And then after the pandemic was over, people just kept doing it because it's super convenient and easy to just order your groceries. And there's tons of people out there making hundreds of extra dollars per month just just by doing this with their free time in the evening. So for instance, this girl, Joy uh, Dumandan, basically says that she makes about an extra $600 a month just delivering groceries whenever she has a few extra hours. This person does Instacart and Shipped two to three nights a week, two to three hours a night, and she makes an extra $100 a week minimum. So that means she's making probably about 400 to 600 extra dollars per month. And again, this is just something you can do in your free time, right? And there's literally countless stories of people making a couple extra hundred bucks a month or a couple extra thousand dollars a month doing this. So for instance, this person, Bria, brings in about $600 a month in extra funds. So it's not the sexiest thing. You're probably gonna be making about 12 to $20 an hour, maybe even a little less than that, like 12 to $16 an hour kind of depends on the area that you live in. But this is an easy way to make extra money with your time if you have time off anyways. And it's incredibly accessible for just about anybody out there to do. Now I've used Instacart before. And in some places that I've used it, there's actually an imbalance where there's not enough people delivering the groceries. And so I don't get jobs, right? So I'm wanting to get groceries delivered to me and there's just no one there to do it. So there's still a lot of supply and demand imbalance here. And they're still looking for a lot of people to do this in many different areas. So yeah, this one, you know, you're not gonna get rich from this, but it's a great way to make some extra money. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a window cleaner. Now this is a little bit similar to the power washing, but you actually need even less equipment to do it. And you're literally just cleaning windows, that's it. Now there's different types of window cleaners. You could just clean windows on people's houses or maybe residential windows, or you could be a commercial cleaner where you're cleaning windows uh, for businesses. Now the highest paying version of this this would be a window cleaner where you're cleaning windows on skyscrapers or very tall buildings. Now you do need to have some special equipment for that. And obviously there's some safety risks. So you need to be very careful with that because you're gonna be hanging off the building, cleaning the window. But you can make a ton of money doing this even if it's just for normal houses or commercial buildings. And there's a cool story about TikTok who inspired a Southwest suburban teen to wash windows as a side hustle. And this was in Chicago. And he charges $4 for the outside of each window and $6 for both the outside and the inside inside. And he literally just started with Dawn dish soap, vinegar, and water. That's it, right? So probably like, a, I don't know, $5 startup cost, maybe you need a bucket and a sponge. So that's an extra $5 on top of it. So you, yeah, you can start this business with $10. There's another story here of this guy who lives in Austin, Texas, he works about 3.5 to 4.5 hours a day. And he makes 80 to 100 bucks on an average day. So if he were to work every day, 3.5 to 4.5 hours, he's gonna be making about $3,000 a month. So you know, again, really good side hustle. You could even turn it into a full-time gig if you wanted to. Here's another person who says they make about two to three K per month, but they say it's just a side business for them. And if you look on Glassdoor, window cleaners are making about 34 to $50,000 a year. So the reason I like this one so much is because, you know, if there's some people out there that are like, oh, I don't have enough money. I mean, this one has insanely low startup costs. If you don't have a bucket and a sponge, you can just go borrow it from a neighbor and you can 
just go start cleaning windows. I mean, just go up to businesses, ask them if they need their windows cleaned. It'll be pretty obvious if they do. And that's how you can get your first clients. And then you want to do some kind of retainer type thing where you're coming back every week or maybe every month and just do it over and over again. And there have been people who have made multi-million dollar businesses just by doing window cleaning. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be rent a friend. And this is basically where people rent friends because in this modern day, there's a lot of loneliness, unfortunately. And this is actually a website, rentafriend.com. And you can basically hire people to just like hang out with you for a weekend. Now, one of the common ways that people use this is if they're visiting a new town, they'll go to rentafriend.com and they'll hire somebody to kind of just hang out with them and show them around a little bit. Another way people do this is if they're looking for somebody to maybe play sports with, or they're just looking for somebody to ask advice about a life event that's happening to them, or maybe they're looking for somebody to attend an event with them and they don't want to go on their own. There's a bunch of different reasons that people do this. And according to ZipRecruiter, if you do this full time, you make about $64,000 a year. So if you're doing it part time, you can make really good money as well. Typically, people are going to be doing this type of thing in the evenings or on the weekends. And so that's why this one is so good for this video. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be just handyman services in general. And specifically, I recommend the app task rabbit. Now guys, I have researched like all these different apps out there. I, I, I've, I've seen all the videos, I've researched them, I've tried many of them out myself. TaskRabbit is one of the absolute best apps that you can use to make money because you're gonna make a minimum of about $35 an hour on TaskRabbit and there are so many different things that you can do. So I've actually hired people on TaskRabbit and I've used it myself. And TaskRabbit is so good, guys. It's really good because there was one time where I was moving from a house and, you know, I didn't want to bother my friends or anything like that. And I just wanted to hire someone to help me pack up the boxes and help me move. Hired someone on TaskRabbit, paid them about $35 an hour, maybe even a little bit more than that. And then I ended up tipping them and I bought them a Subway sandwich uh, because I just had such a good time hanging out with them and they were so helpful, right? So these little random handyman services, maybe mounting a TV on your wall, assembling some furniture, cleaning up your backyard, cleaning up a dirty house, moving from one place to another, packing up boxes, organizing things, et cetera, et cetera. All these different random handyman services, you can do them on TaskRabbit and they don't take that much skill. It's basically just somebody comes and if you just happen to be kind of decent at maybe assembling things, you don't need to be a professional, you can get paid to do it. Now it's probably better if you specialize and do certain gigs that get paid more than others because a lot of the time handyman uh, type gigs can pay between 40 and $100 an hour. So you can actually make a lot more than $35 an hour, but starting off it's 35, which is pretty good. And there are countless people on the internet that talk about how they make really good side hustle money or even a full-time income using TaskRabbit. So I really like this one. And of course you can always start your own thing, start off on TaskRabbit, and then you can start advertising on Facebook Marketplace or on Craigslist, or just start your own business. But handymen in general make about 43 to $66,000 a year according to Glassdoor. So this one is really good. Honestly, if someone came to me and they're like, Shane, I have to make money within one week. Like I don't have time to start a YouTube channel. I don't have time to do anything else else, you know, I have to make money immediately. This is what I tell them to do. I tell them to do task rabbit, or I tell them to do some sort of like physical labor type of job and then post it on Craigslist or Facebook marketplace, because that is the easiest way to make money. I used to do this all the time when I was in high school and college. I wish I had an app like task rabbit around at that time. It would have made it much easier, but this is so easy to make money doing this. So I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Now, if you're looking for online AI related side hustles, I actually made a video about that and it went kind of semi-viral, got a couple hundred thousand views. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.